We are doing another review on a desk lamp, this little baby here. This cost, at the time of making this video anyway, found about £21, so not too expensive. And also I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check her out. So yeah, just under, I think it's about £21, I'm not sure, but it's around about that price. And this has five modes, it has five brightnesses or different brightnesses and five colour settings, you know, from white to yellowy white. That makes sense or to you know yellow so it goes from white a little bit more yellowy you know you get the idea don't you so what we're going to do in this video is do an unboxing have a quick look around the box there's a little bit of information on there and we're going to give it a test also there's always an also you can charge your phone on this as well so we will be testing that as well so uh, with that let's get on with it shall we Right, let's have a quick look around the box so you can see exactly what you're getting for your money. Yeah, obviously you're getting a desk lamp. Yes, I know. But it comes in two different colours. You can either have a grey one or a black one. I went for the grey one. And it does recharge you, so you can charge up your phone on it as well. Colour switch, that's what it says. There's a colour switch, touch switch, and a wireless charger. So you can charge up your phone wirelessly and hopefully USB. I'm not sure... But I'm pretty sure it does USB charging. I'm pretty sure. We will test it to find out. Uh, mobile phone stents. So basically it will sit on a little angle for you, which I thought was quite a good idea actually. So model number is the PH376 and takes 5 volts, or it chucks out 5 volts, one or the other. And it's got the sizes there as well. See that? So uh, let's get it open, shall we? Instead of keep talking about it. We need to get her out. Some documentation, is that it? So we have some documentation. I'm not going to read the documentation out to you. After cell service and all that. A USB to USB type C connection. Very nice. Let's quickly get this undone so I can have a quick measure up. I would say that's probably a metre long. Let me go and measure it right now. From one end to the other, it is one metre long. Nice bit of cabling, by the way. Or well, good quality, anyway. Let's get that. So, no assembly needed looking at this. So, that must just lift up. Yeah, there you go. It does. It comes out. Now, this, as far as I understand, does not twist. I'm torn to break it, so I'm just being a bit careful. Yeah, so it just goes up and down like that. Okay, let me uh, load my desk in case you can't see it properly. How's that? Yeah? See that? So it doesn't twist, in case you wanted one that twists. This button, this one doesn't twist at all, but does go up and down. So, let me put my desk back up. Mobile phone, apparently, uh, let me leave that like that. You can leave that like that. Oh, actually, let's get rid of my messages. So, apparently, if I move that out of the way like that, you can angle it like that. Put your phone on there like that. I'm not sure if that would charge like that. I think you would have to lay it like that. But I, I could be wrong. And we are going to find out right now if it'll work like that. It's on 100%, but it should come up and say it's charging or not. So let me plug her in, we'll find out. I've had a quick play of it, and there's a bit of misinformation on here. It says wireless charging. So I checked on Amazon, and it doesn't say that on Amazon, and I checked the instructions, and it doesn't say it in the instructions. So I've got a feeling that this packaging does two different versions of this lamp. So this is the one without the wireless charging. I'm only guessing, I could be totally wrong, but it says wireless charging actually on the box, but like I said, I checked on Amazon, it doesn't do wireless charging for whatever reason, all right? So it doesn't do it. So I just want to clear that up before we carry on. So it's all plugged in and I'll give it a quick test. But before we actually start using it, I'm quickly going to show you around, because I didn't actually show you around, did I? So you have an on-off switch, yeah? To turn it on and off. We do have a USB for charging, and yes, that does work. So, got that sorted, didn't we? So, let's have a little play about it. So, you know, you've got the up and down 
thing like that. It doesn't twist, so don't try and twist it because you're going to break it if you tr try and twist it. And we have an on-off button, as you can see, on-off. And we have a different brightness levels. Yeah, so all you got to do is slide your finger up or just touch the end. It's up to you, whether you want the brightness. And also, we have a book mode. And the idea behind the book mode is, say for instance you want to read a book, that is supposed to be the ideal lighting for you sitting there reading a book. You know? And also, if you want to uh, perhaps sit in bed reading a book and you start feeling tired, you might want to put on the timer. Timer is for 45 minutes, and after 45 minutes, it will turn itself off. So if you start falling asleep, you know, like that, and sitting there reading a book, you know what it's like, don't you? And then forget to turn the light off, it will turn itself off. Good idea, yes? Yes. And the other one, just turn it off, we don't want that on. And the other one is different colours. So it goes from white to yellow, okay? And it has five different modes. So we have white, we have a bit more yellowy white, and a bit more yellowy, yellowy white, and again, yellow, and back to white. Was that five modes? So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five modes, and then back to white again. So brightness levels, that is the lowest it goes down to, that one now, and that is the highest, and then we've obviously you've got in between these. So, also it says the name of the company, Invict, Invict, I think that's how you pronounce it, Invict, I'm not sure, but that is it. Oh, and obviously it will sit your phone on there, so it has that little lip on it to hold your phone in place, if you want to put your phone on it and that works really well i have a, a cover on mine so mine doesn't go back properly because of the cover but sits on there uh, if you go over that little lip it will just slip over or you can just lay it like that yeah so it just works whatever you want to do so let me know in the comments whether you're thinking about getting one of these little babies or this little baby here i like the way it turns itself off actually it doesn't go off instantly it's got a little like a little dim thing yeah let me know in the comments what you think whether you think about buying something like this or even if you've actually got one of these or something similar that turns yourself off during the night when you're sitting in bed perhaps so with that if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down please subscribe thank you very much for watching and you can just fold it away